Okay, here we are. We're back again. Oh my god. I'm actually bored of this at this point. Epic! Seriously! Oh. <sighs> the entire staff at Epic went to view the solar eclipse with Temu glasses, and now they are all blind to what the fans and community want. Hello, ladies and gentlemen. My name is James, also known as Stratos. Welcome to the team. Welcome to the video. Today, we're going to be having another complaint about everything that is currently going on in Fortnite. And oh my god, this update was another belter for stuff people just don't like. So here we are on the dreaded main menu once again, because Fortnite in the latest update decided that they were going to drop the avatar stuff, get rid of stuff people liked and hammer your wallets again for no good reason. I told you recently about the packs, the, the uh, Guardians of the Galaxy packs that are 20 something quid for three skins and stuff. That's that's nuts. It's a bundle. It's supposed to be cheap. They have currently wherever they've hidden them to at this point are they at the top i feel like they're going to be at the top of the shop there's those ones there it is the the quote unquote 60 dollar bundle because call of duty did it so why can't we i i don't know what their plan with this was because this is just this is not okay they have slowly been increasing prices for ages an emote 500 they used to be 200 back in the day the emotes used to be standard 200 300 maybe if it was more over the top, but these ones for 500 are stupid. This entire bundle is just shy of 60 quid. And then if you buy it, it's only 30. It's only 30 quid. But if you buy it all separately, here's two skins. We only made one black bling. So we didn't make a pack where you get these and one of the emotes and this uh, with her for, say, 2,000 V-Bucks, 2,500 V-Bucks. We didn't make a pack with this guy with these and this as well as this, but you had to buy the other pack to get this one or buy this separately. No, and I think they've gotten rid of it now, but these ones, these are terrible. These are so bad. 2,000 V-Bucks, that's 20 quid, $20 if I'm right. And you can't, you can't not buy a full set. I believe this set is something around the lines of the 20, $25 in America. This set's around about $10 in America. So if you want this pack in America, it's $20, $20, 20 quid which is ridiculous for two items. You get one set, that's it. I don't think, I don't think Renegade Raider costs that much. Like this one, this is, what is that? For 1,800 as a full bundle, this should not be a 1,200. The day after they remove rarities, they drop Crabzo, Crabhanzo, because they were like, hey, we need, um, we need a new skin to go in. And it's, uh, name your favorite character from a random genre. Hey. Dave, at the back of the office, what are you like? I like Hanzo from Overwatch. Thanks, Dave. Uh, Jimmy, with all the crustaceans on his desk, what are you like? I like crabs. All right, we're making a crab Hanzo. Uh, Jeff from accounting. Uh, you know, Disney put like a couple billion into us the other week. What should we price this at? Something reasonable? Nah, make it at least 20,000 so they have to buy the V-Bucks for it for $20. Oh, cool. So around about what? You know, like in and around the, the, the 1,000 mark underneath it so they just have to buy the lowest pack? Now I make them buy two packs at least before they can buy a skin. Because we're not going to, we're just not going to make it 1,000. It's going to be 1,800 for the full bundle, which is just, ugh, like, I don't get where they're at. They clearly have stopped caring about the community. The community have just been ignored at this point for profiteering. Like, it just, phew, there it is. There it is, a 200 V-Buck emote. Remember when you didn't have to buy an entire pack and you just had that in change to buy an emote? Nice. That's great. Not anymore. Nah. You gotta you gotta shell out five hundred to spin some rocks. You gotta sell out five hundred to float on a feather. You gotta shell out five hundred for whatever this is that's probably from TikTok. That's why I can't hear it. And there is no need for it. That and they've got oh no, cool. The the special styles, the DCs and stuff, the frozen ones, the gaming legends. The icons, the th oh, cool. all of the epic and sponsored ones are still there. Fantastic. But then you get to the actual skins themselves. And th they've just, they've gotten rid of them. A day after people were complaining, I think it was Hale, Hyle, whatever his name is. Kyle. I want to say Kyle, but I'm pretty sure it was an H. So that's like dangerous territory. Like, they literally just complained that he was too expensive for the, 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 the crappiness of his skin. They had the car kit with the new guy and the trials for seven quid. A car and a skin with backbling and stuff. Like, 
for seven quid, that's perfect. People are going to buy it. Uh, this dude, M Matthias, M Matthias. That's a wicked combo. And I think Fortnite seriously need to get used to the idea of lowering their prices for the community now that they are a massively funded company by Disney. Because they've got the fan base now. They have more people buying stuff every day. If they drop their prices back to what they used to be, they wouldn't have an issue. They'd probably see an increase in sales because stuff would be more affordable. People would buy more things. People would want to invest more money in because they're getting more bang for their buck. And, like, that, that's fine. The Avatar skins, the 40 quid bundle, it's nuts. You get two skins for 40. This isn't just launched Overwatch 2. This isn't current day Call of Duty. This is, this is the game that broke the internet because it was affordable. It had microtransactions. And right now, what's blowing it out of the water? What's one of the more heavily populated games right now? A game made by a furry that everyone loves, Lethal Company. A game made by a small indie company that are currently writing a game engine that no longer has support because they were so far in development, they thought, no, we're doing this for the fans. We're doing this because we need to get this out. And they have microtransactions and you earn their currency in-game. And it's not shafted every update with, oh, we're lowering uh, the in-game currency missions now. You're not allowed to get them anymore. Sorry, deal with it. Helldivers, fantastic set of games. And they are made by smaller publishers than these massive AAA games. And I'm sorry, but right now, all I can see being worth it is either your battle pass, because you get everything in here up to page 14, and then your bonus rewards all the way up to your super styles, and then you get your quest bonus rewards, and they have yet to be revealed, and your crossover. And even then, you can get this in the crew pack. Of course, it's going to blast me with that. You can get this in the crew pack, and you get this skin. You get a new skin every month, and you get new updates every month to these skins. Yeah, you've got to shell out 15 a month, but in that, you get your skin, your set, a skin that updates every month. So right now, I'm not earning just one skin every month. I'm earning one skin, two, three, four, five different variants every month. Six, including the next one that comes. And all of these get updated. You get six skin variants, an update, pickaxes, back blings, everything, including current battle pass, and stuff for Rocket League. Your Rocket League, you get V-Bucks every month, so that's one. Th that's 12,000 V-Bucks every year for a fraction of the price in comparison because you get so much right now with the crew. The mini battle passes, yeah, an extra 1,000 thousand V-Bucks for this major collab, and you get... Oh? Was Ang? Did I just miss Ang being in? I did. I unlocked her at the end of stream the other day. Okay, I don't know what's going on, but I've not, I've not paid for that. That might be a glitch. I might have been gifted something from Fortnite again, but I have no idea. But this, 1,000 V-Bucks, and you get your emo, your emo, banner. What's that? Back bling? Back bling. One level up, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight level ups. Another skin, a pickaxe, a pickaxe, spray, emo, emo, guitar, back bling, traversal emo, locker skin. Locker skin? Uh, loading screen thing that's a thousand v bucks why can they do that there but then blast you with stuff like this for this amount of money because they know right now that the entire community is divided over shop skins coming back so why are they putting the price of these skins so high don't even get me started on these again the day after i made the last video about the kits being a thing they dropped that 25 dollar monstrosity in the shop, like literally the day after or the same day. The cars have been dropped. I mean, that's way better than what they used to be worth. Even then, the Jaeger, I'm pretty sure that was 3,000 at one point. Like, they've dropped those because the community showed outrage about it. The community as a whole needs to come together and complain about this. They got rid of rarities, which was just not necessary. And then the day after they do that, they give us Astro Jack redone with no cape and a standard texture over all of it, and we know they do ta standard textures because we get them in the crew every week, every month. We get blasted, like, you know, oversaturated textures that they can just activate. This isn't the worst in the world, her skin standard, because it's nice, it's in little places, but it's that standard 3D see-through. It's just like you're looking through a glass mirror of the universe. 
cool effect. It's why people wanted Galaxy to begin with. There it was, that effect. That's pretty cool, but I, I was sick of seeing it on every single skin they released, and they've started putting some work into their actual bonus rewards. These ones get it every month. They might be changing it coming up and starting to put a bit of work in it. This one's pretty dope. The new ones with the red, dope. But then he gets that standard shaded in that one standard color because people want that one full-on style. But I don't get how they can release a whole crossover event battle pass for 1000 and then hit you in the shop for $60. Yeah, they have the bundles, but that's still technically $60 worth of gear by their standards. Someone in Epic needs to just wake up and be like, hey, we're not actually doing what the fans want right now. The fans have carried us to the point that Disney want to invest billions in our engine, that we can have massive showcases on our Unreal Engine, because we've got the team, we've got the support right now. They decided that, you know what we're going to do to the UI? We're going to get rid of rarities. No one wants rarities. No one likes that nice color in the background of their character. We'll just make it bland to look at when you're on your character selection screen now, because we've already decided that it's going to be a Disney Plus, Hulu, Amazon Prime mess on here, and you're recently replayed and by Epic are buried underneath this garbage of either complete ripoffs, DMCA takedown garbage people, the standard crossover, just, oh, we decided to do this because it looks like another game, but we're going to do it our way kind of thing. Like, no offense to the people who actually put actual time and effort into their maps and don't just DMCA or steal ideas. Genuinely, you guys are wicked, and I wish you guys had more, like, epic pick stuff up here. But the fact that... I couldn't find the tournament the other day to get my glider because it was buried down here and didn't show up straight away because the UI is garbage right now. And they are better going back to the chapter four original, maybe the chapter three UIs. Right now, this is a mess. Character, emotes, wraps, lobby, that could all just be slapped into here as character. Just put it in character. Then you've got here, then in here is the subsection of emotes, then it's the subsection of wraps, then your subsection of lobby. Standard. Cars. Rocket racing, make it its own tab. All right, whatever. Instruments, cool, makes sense. Put your jam tracks and stuff in here as well. Like jam tracks, slap it in here. It's then a three tier one. Lego kits, get the hell rid of this. Lego kits should not be a thing. It's like Minecraft paywalling. I've already had the rant about that and that's that's somewhere I'm gonna probably put the activation for that one for you to click there if you like the sound of it or it'll be the end of the video. This right now, the state that Fortnite's in, it, it's not okay. They are going out of their way to make you really have to like, open your wallet to play this game, this free game that already had so much backing from the community when it launched before it was Battle Royale exclusive and they gave up support on Save the World, the people who originally invested in the game. Genuinely, if this game starts to go south, they will abandon Battle Royale and all the support for us too. We've seen it happen with Save the World before. Founders were there putting in hundreds of dollars before the game released and they have been left in the dirt. Their skins that were for founders for people who were backing the game before Disney, before thousands of millions of players came in, before Ninja was up on stage saying, I'm not seeing enough movement, back to when he was hitting clips and being the best person in Tilted Towers. The rise and fall, we like to call it. But genuinely, this game right now, like Ninja has said so many times, take it back to how it was. Listen to the community. Like, we don't get in-game events anymore. We had a hand and a chest, and then we had to break it, and we got a tornado, and it stayed there. and then. That was it. No in-game event. The gods didn't just magically appear and create some sort of awesome effect to make stuff appear. And Hades didn't rise out the water with the entire underworld. No, it was just the hand has opened the box. Here's a new map for you. Just enjoy. We put the talismans in the same place in both corners of the map instead of making them diverse this season because people were complaining they couldn't get all of them. So uh, you, don't, you, didn't, you didn't want that. What did you want? Oh, an in-game event! Uh, we had someone working on the, the Black Hole event again, um, but we didn't give him enough time. We gave him a week's notice, and for some reason he couldn't complete it in time because we, we, were, we were talking to the boardroom about making lots of money, and they were like, hey, just release the new season. Uh, don't spend money on FX and stuff and the stuff that people want. No. Okay, thank you. Like, I don't know why that's my go-to voice for people in the accounting department. It's like, money! We need money! Mr. Krabs! Mr. Krabs? Aye! We need the money! Money! Money, money! Like, that, that's got to be the top dude at accounting right now at Epic. It's like, uh, what's that? We have to spend for the effects and the in-game content and all that cool stuff and to keep the servers running for those massive events. Let's not do that and give money back to the community in awesome in-game events like Helldivers and their updates every single day. Uh, we'll just make our tweets, cash grabs, promotions for our own stuff, tweets about 
all of our new skins coming out that are 60 quid, and we won't do any in-game events. We're just not going to see it. We're just not going to see it. It's going to be dramatic trailer. Thanks. Thanks for putting money into the game. You know those events you used to really like? Well, we think it's easier if we just streamline it as a trailer so we don't have to pay FX artists and server people to keep that kind of running. So uh, thank you very much for the money, but we're not going to actually put it back into the players. No, we've got a huge thing from Disney. Uh, so we're just sitting on those billions right now, and we need you guys to pay for support for the game that we're not fully supporting anymore. I'm sorry, it's another rant. I do have a 30 plus kill game, uh, a limb game coming up soon. I will do my best to edit that down and get it sorted. But in the meantime, my name's been James. Thank you for listening to me rant about Fortnite for the umpteenth time. If you do agree, please let me know in the comments below because comments are the biggest thing to let me know if you agree with me, disagree with me, all that other stuff. I, 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 I'm doing this before I go to work and it's, it needs to be addressed and the community need to make sure Epic know it's a problem. And again, we made this game as big as it is. The community make this game as big as it is. The community make the game as big as Helldivers is. The community make Lethal Company as big as it is. Lethal Company was made by a single dude with support from fans and friends and helpers on Twitter, Discords, Reddit. And he outsold Activision, a triple A title. It is not about the company. It's about the people that are willing to put the time and effort into these games, into the things we love for a reasonable actual payout once we've invested in them. Because that's what you do when you spend in these games. You're not just buying items. I'm sorry, I didn't mean to slap you. I'm very upset right now. <laughs> it's not paying for these items because these don't exist. You're paying for a cryptocurrency that doesn't exist, that they've said, this is the value of this currency. And then this is the value of this currency against this AI model that one of our teams spent 10 minutes on and went, that'll do. Put it in the shop. It's not, it's not worth the price they're saying it is. And we as a community can say, hey, your value for money right now is BS. The fact that you've got stuff in the shop and then actual money packs in the shops as well is BS. This is not worth this much because it's not physical and it doesn't exist. If everyone decided to boycott and not pay a penny to Epic for a single day because of all of this, Epic would drastically lower prices, at least 50%. Like 50% down is what would be reasonable. <sighs> Ladies and gentlemen, I've been James, also known as Stratos. Welcome to the team. I hope you enjoyed. I'm sorry this is a third video of ranting. Have a fantastic day, evening, afternoon, or sleep, depending on where in the world, and I'll see you guys in the next one. James, signing out.